so uh, today we're going to be discussing uh, some more wave concepts. And let's start with this one, very important one, wave medium. A wave medium is simply the substance through which waves travel. Uh, this is required for all kinds of waves, except for there's one type of wave that actually doesn't even need a medium. Anybody know what that is? Sound requires a medium. Without the air here, it wouldn't. But light, uh, I'm going to just call it electromagnetic radiation. And the other word for that is light. The only difference between uh, radio waves, microwaves, visible light, infrared, any of that stuff is just the frequency of it. But it's all electromagnetic radiation. Okay, uh, so let's talk about some of the mediums that you might have. What is the medium for a wave on a spring? The spring, yeah, that's what it's traveling through. How about the sound waves that you guys are hearing for this lecture right now? The air is the medium. Without that air, you would not be hearing that. Um, surfing waves. You might say water, but it's actually, it turns out you can't have it without both water and air. It's the water-air interface that allows those types of waves to happen. Because uh, you can't surf underwater. Neither can you just surf in the air. You need that interface between the two. Um, now, there is proof that light or electromagnetic radiation needs no medium. And that's simply that when you look in the sky at night, you can see, you can see the sun, you can see the moon, you can see stars. Um, all those are very far away through the vacuum of space. So if you can see stars, that means that you do not need a medium. There's many areas of space where there's basically one molecule per cubic meter. The next little section here is we're going to label some parts of a wave. We're going to label the crest and the trough for a transverse wave. We'll learn what transverse wave is momentarily. But uh, the crest, it does make sense right here. It's the top of that little hill. That is the crest. Let's go ahead and label that crest. We're also going to label the trough. Where do you suppose the trough of this transverse wave is? Yeah, the very lowest spot. That is T-R-O-U-G-H. The trough is right there. Uh, and we're also going to now measure the amplitude. Amplitude, we use the symbol capital A for. Amplitude is the distance between the blank point and the blank displacement. We remember we saw this last time. Uh, what do you call the midpoint of a wave or a vibration where there's no net force on the particle typically? The equilibrium point. So it's the amplitude is the distance between the equilibrium point and the maximum displacement. So on this graph, the equilibrium point, let's go ahead and label that right here along this line is the equilibrium point. That is where the wave is not displaced at all. It's the zero line all along there. That's the equilibrium point. The amplitude is from that point to the maximum displacement. Right there is the amplitude A. Uh, is there another place I could draw that on here? So I could go from the equilibrium point to the tip of the trough. So that's also the amplitude. That's also the maximum displacement just in the opposite direction. So there is your amplitude. Next up is wavelength. Now for wavelength, we use the letter, the Greek letter lambda. That's spelled L-A-M-B-D-A. Lambda is the symbol we use for wavelength. And the wavelength is simply the distance between successive identical parts of the wave. What the heck does that mean? Successive means one right after the other. Identical means it's the exact same part of the wave. So one easy place to measure the wavelength is from crest to where? To the next crest. That could be labeled lambda, the wavelength. What's another obvious one that we could do? Instead of crest to crest, we could go trough to trough is another 
wavelength right there. Trough to trough is also the wavelength. But it turns out you can go from any part of the wave to the next successive, means comes up next, identical part of the wave. For example, if I go from right here, you guys tell me when I hit one wavelength, just say stop. Ah, I didn't fool anyone. That's good. Right there, notice it's from there to there, could also be considered the wavelength. Not to this point. That ain't it right there. That's not an identical part of the wave. That's a mirror image. It's not identical. So this is also lambda.